Hello my lovelies. <clears throat> oh, frog in my throat. I am so excited. I have something to show you that is literally magic. And I'm not joking. To me, this is magic. So let me first tell you that I wear headphones for probably 10 hours a day, non-stop. Um, I, when I edit my videos, I wear my headphones, I do it in my living room, so if someone is watching TV, um, they don't disturb me and I don't disturb them. In a day, whatever I'm doing, if I'm cleaning or whatever I'm doing, I'll be listening to a radio or podcast or whatever. In the evening, I don't really watch TV, propaganda TV, so I don't watch that. Paul watches odd programs, and I think a lot of men do. Things like Digging for Gold or something like this. It's this program when these men go away for months at the time trying to find gold, and he will watch the whole series, and at the end of it, they still haven't found anything. <laughs> or he will watch How He's Made, or he will watch... You know, there is this other program when they make these huge blades and cut into the... Ridiculous. So I'm not interested in that. So I just want to watch things on my laptop. That's why I wear headphones all the time. And I've been having now problems with my ears. I don't know if you've noticed. I actually have noticed when I edit my videos that when I talk to you, I often go like this, play with my ears. And this is because my ears are so dry. I swear my ears don't produce any wax. Uh, they are so dry, itchy and sore. And I think it all started probably about two years ago. Whenever Paul used to snow in bed, I would use um, earplugs. And I didn't like the foam ones, so I had um, the wax ones that sort of mold into your ears. So I would wear the earplugs at night, then I would wear headphones all day. And I think I must have irritated my ears. I don't know what it is. Obviously, I can't go and see a doctor because um, there is no help for anybody unless you have COVID or want a vaccine, then you can be seen straight away. Otherwise, no one will see you. So I've tried everything. I've tried hydrocortisone. I've tried putting oil in it. Nothing helps. And I thought I really can't wear, you know, those earbuds. That's what I'm talking about. And I've always used Dr. Dre Beats, the little, little ones. I've actually am on a second pair now. Then you might remember I bought these because these don't go in your ears. They go over your ears. I don't even know what they are called. Um, Camtron. Can you see it? On. And they are okay, but they are very, very cheap. So like the plastic bit is really cheap. Sometimes it doesn't want to switch on. And also, so they go like this. So they stay on because they go around your ears, but not inside your ears. But because you have this, I sort of throughout the day get pressure and the top of my ears head and also my ears are still covered so the air doesn't don't get air circulation in my ears I've spent so much money on different headphones cheap ones apart from the dry ones I normally buy like cheaper ones because I don't want to spend too much money if they are not what I thought they were and yesterday I went back on Amazon. Why did I do that? I saw an advert somewhere on for bone conduction earphones and I was like, hmm, what's that? So I put that in a search box on Amazon and these came up after aftershocks. 
and they have few different models i think i went for the most expensive one because it had eight hours play time and to me obviously before you have to charge it the play time is very important and also i think this is the latest model and people were saying was the best blah blah and everybody was really uh, praising this so i thought i will try them and i think they are magic so here they are again you put them like this and look at that so you've got the things to go over your ears but they don't go in your ears they go on this bone here and the sound is conducted through the ear bone i thought surely that can work and it can just sound fine it's amazing I don't know how this works but my ears are free of anything and I can still have headphones on also this is very good for if you are a runner you run on the street you know exercising not just <laughs> running aimlessly on the streets because because they don't cancel the noise around you so you can hear cars you know i hate those um headphones you know the big ones that are noise cancelling ones that you can't hear anything what's going around you just what's in your ears don't like that because i still like to be aware of what's going around me if my phone rings in my doorbell rings so these are not for me so these are very good for those who run outside also if you wear hearing aid, if you wear in hearing aid, you can't really put anything else in your ears or even the ones that go over your ears, I think might interfere with the hearing aid. But these are perfect for that. I haven't been excited about something for so long. Honestly, that I've just tried them, so I read all the instructions. Also, you can connect to devices at the same time to it so i've got my phone and my laptop uh, connected to it so i can switch in between two you can make phone calls and everything i think there is one um, model of these that actually has like a you know microphone sticky appy thing here so i'm sure that there are cheaper ones i think these ones these ones these ones were 149 pounds so it is expensive but to me this is an investment to me this is something important that i use every day all day uh, they have cheaper models so if you don't need it for uh, the cheaper models i think the play time is six hours so if you don't need it for something like me then you could try the cheaper ones so they have like this soft rubberized um pouch with with magnets so you can store it in here they have two charging cables and it's a very very different charging cable so let me just tell you so it is usb but the end that connects to it is like nothing that i've seen before so it's not like for your mobile phone um it's magnetic but it has like two little prongs i didn't bring it here but it is a different type of charger so you can't just use any charger but they sent you two so i suppose if you lose one you've got a backup and also i got with this 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 little pouch to put around your waist i suppose if you are running you can put your keys and your phone in here love it it's elastic you can adjust it so i often in the summer if i take louis out I might be wearing something without pockets and obviously just a t-shirt and I've got nowhere to put my keys or my phone in so this is I think this is quite stylish actually very sporty so that was really good yes so I thought I have to tell you about it because I know when I bought these ones a um, few of you were asking me because you told me that you have problem with wearing earbuds you know that it hurts your ears so these are so worth it i just cannot get over it and i was like oh my god this is magic this is magic i have to tell you about it i'm sure there is lots of of you out there that have already known about it but i never heard of it so yes 
I will leave you the link to those. Um, they are on Amazon and they have amazing reviews. And you know, like with anything, I'm convinced now that you get what you pay for, basically. So I probably spent hundred pounds just buying cheap rubbish, whereas I should have bought something like this in the first place. Well, I didn't know about it. Okay, check them out. Good morning, my lovelies. Today it's a waxing day, but I'm putting my makeup on first. Do you know what I just found? Not found, it's always here, but never thought about it before. The Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize in rose gold. I think I'm going to put that on my eyes. I think why I thought of it is because I think Trini London, um, I think they're going to send me some of the uh, cream eyeshadows which I wanted to try so I thought yes I have some cream eyeshadows so I might use that and I might use Charlotte Tilbury's Hello Darling is it Hello Darling or oh, Old oh, Darling it doesn't say on the back of it the name of it oh I just can't see no Charlotte Darling isn't it that's right yeah <laughs> that one so I might do that. Sorry if you hear noises outside. I don't know how dare they neighbours making noise while I'm talking to you. My headband goes with my kimono. My kimono is very old. I bought it ages ago from Ted Baker, but Ted Baker does these kimonos. It's a short one, like just to your knee. They do them all year round in different patterns. And that is very old. Everything is very old. I do have very old things that I still wear. Uh, this was from River Island. Okay, let's get some sort of brush that will... I like these stubby brushes for though, but this one is a bit big. I thought I had some smaller ones. Maybe I threw them away. This one is belly. I don't know, that's probably from Amazon or somewhere. So, my darlings, I am seething this morning. Of course I am. I'm seething every day about something. So, I just want to say that if you are still the person that thinks all this is about the virus, there is no help for you. How anybody can believe that what is happening now is about the virus is beyond me the lies honestly but that's the techniques they use you know to confuse you so you don't know what to think in the end i mean first it was three weeks to flatten the curve then it was do this to save christmas then after Christmas, stay home to save the Easter. At Easter, stay home to save the bloody summer. So, as of today, the death rates are lower than five year average. Half or if more population was vaccinated. By Monday, we would have achieved herd immunity. So, They've worked out now that with all the vaccinations and people that have already had it, we have had immunity. But still, we still can open it, we still have to do it the way they said they would do it. And now they tell you that even if you've had two vaccines and you want to go abroad, you still have to take a test, which you have to pay for £120, and when you come back, you have to take another test. How can anybody still believe this? Honestly. But unfortunately, some people really, really are still so terrified, even after having vaccines. They, honestly, they've messed with people heads, people's heads so much. Also, we all know about the tests. And actually, oh, my phone is not here. In three countries now, the courts said test is not fit for purpose therefore lockdowns can be justified by tests was it Denmark somewhere else 
but of course you won't hear about that on mainstream media and if this is all you're watching you really don't know what's going on you just know what they want you to think so you know first they said that if all the over 70s and vulnerable are vaccinated we can have our freedom back makes sense these are only people that are dying from it um, but now they still wouldn't open up and give us our freedoms back then it's a pure coercion it's all about the passports basically we are going to have social credit score like in China if you think that those passports, if people agree, because if we don't agree, this won't happen, but a lot of people quite like this idea, then imagine they can put in the future whatever they like on these passports. And if you don't do it, then you will be excluded from normal life. So just think about it. And what about once that is in law, say you are conservative and in few few years time labor gets into power and they start putting things on this passport that you don't like but there will be nothing you can do about it so honestly right i'm going i'm going to leave you some videos because I'm sure most of you are not aware that there is a, um, it's been for months now, big case prepared all over the world. It's, ba it's basically going to be like second Nuremberg trial against governments. Um, it's this German lawyer that is a fraud lawyer. He's won a big case against Deutsche Bank which is unbelievable and Volkswagen and he's working with lawyers all over the world so I will leave you a video when I first saw him talking in November he's been working on it since July I will leave you the first video from November talking to Volutment, Valutment and I just saw the latest podcast with him as well I will just watch them in order I will leave you some videos below because I feel like this man is our only hope now I had to get that off my chest because I still don't can't believe it that so many people actually think this is normal none of it makes sense and oh anyway so why do you think you need a test if you've been vaccinated? Does that mean the vaccines don't work? So if they don't work, why are they making everybody have it and make it a condition for your freedom? Because it's all about the passport. I think it's because people naturally most people are good people and I think most people can't believe that other people could be so evil and unfortunately there is a lot of evil people out there they are probably psychopaths you know I've been saying this you know since last April because things were not adding up and I was saying then and throughout the year that if you think that you will be free anytime soon anyway people used to absolutely try to decimate me in in my comments 
but I don't care. And everything came through. I knew last year that all this was about eventually vaccines and passports. So they're just proving me right now. You know, I spent last night watching for hours the flash mob dance videos on YouTube. If you remember those ones when um, at the wedding people like groomsmen would su surprise the bride and do some uh, funny dance and also on train stations, anywhere. And I cried so much because I thought, God, these were the days, you know, we actually had fun. And now, look what they've done to us is no one trusts anybody everybody looks at you like you are a walking virus or bioweapon people are just horrible it's just so so sad all anybody talks about is vaccine cases this that there is no other conversation and they did that to us i mean this is like the biggest psyop of our lifetime anyway I'm gonna go now that is so pretty cream eyeshadows are lovely on their own but they even better as a base for a you know powder eyeshadow right I'm gonna go and wax hate it hate it hate it so much but it has to be done Hello my darlings, it's Sunday, we are out in Virginia waters, it actually was quite tricky to get in here because it's so so busy, we went to the main car park and it was shut because it was full. <gasps> it ran like a mad thing and it ran straight through that mud. Sorry, I'll talk to you in a minute, but Louis is being so funny. Are you getting crazy? Go! Go! <laughs> yes, so we um, came back to a smaller car park and we were very lucky. We found a space, but the machine wouldn't give us a ticket, so... Um, so we found someone and asked why will we be able to get out and they said you know in memory of Prince Philip I'm sure you all heard about Prince Philip such such a sad day um, the car park is gonna be free for a week so yes yeah, so that was happened but we were very lucky to find a space it's very very busy but it's so cold it's very sunny so I thought it was quite warm I mean my jacket is warm but I'm wearing leggings my workout leggings and my legs are pretty cold so yeah we're gonna have a nice walk are you going crazy are you going crazy why were you running like that
having a break on some logs big logs so I think we're going to make our way back to the car now well it's freezing my thighs are numb anyway I hope you enjoyed this walk weekly walk that you take with me <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video bye